Welcome, I'm Void Dude, and you're watching the best damn Star Citizen ship review show, where we review a ship as voted for by the channel's illustrious Patreons. Thank you so much for your votes. Since CIG's parody of Jeremy Clarkson, named Jax McCleary, went off by himself to the pyro system during last year's IAE and is presumably dead, I took the liberty of developing a parody of their parody in a half-baked attempt to make this video more entertaining than it otherwise would be. This is Jeremy Jax Clarkson McCleary, ex-host of Space British Spectrum's hit show Top Quantum. But after getting a level 5 crime stat for violently assaulting a cameraman, Jeremy Jax Clarkson McCleary was subsequently bought by one of Old Man Hurston's many companies called Space Rainforest to host a new show same as the old show called Galactic Top Grand Quantum Tour. <laughs> Tonight, can the Origin 350R outrun a server crash? A man drinks some cruise pulse? And can the Space Stig ride a dragonfly to the pyro system before CIG releases Alpha 4.0? If you remember to like and subscribe, I promise to never attempt to impersonate anyone on this channel ever again. We're in an Origin Jumpworks 350R now, and as you know, all good ships have a name. So I decided to call this one the Mercedes-Benz Lesnick, in honor of Ben Lesnick, the ex-community manager for Star Citizen back in the day who awarded me this sick racing ship in 2015 as a prize for making the top three of a logo contest for the old Star Citizen weekly YouTube show Around the Verse. We had to narrow it down to three people. Just go Lando. A logo from Void Dude and a logo from Con Allen that we're gonna be using at different points in the show. I haven't used this ship to race in over seven years because in that time I passed my prime and am no longer in the peak physical and mental condition to compete against the absolute professional superstars of the modern star citizen racing community. So instead, I make these silly videos to fill the void in my soul that my wife gave me after we got married. Let's begin. I can hear you thinking, f me Void Dude, that was pretty cool. It's almost as if the more likes and subscribers your channel gets, the better the editing quality becomes. You might already know that I'm not the biggest fan of Origin Jumpworks, so much so in fact that a while ago I made this tier list to demonstrate my love of Drake Interplanetary and my disdain for Origin Jumpworks. Since I'm reviewing an Origin ship today and my opinion would be biased, I asked some people who actually know things about the ship over at the Extreme G Racing Discord. Edwin Jarvis said the 350R is pretty fast and thick. Schnacku said she fast and got a big booty. Canadian Maverick said it's very fun to fly and race with high straight line acceleration and top speed with boost. The downsides are it's pretty much only forward acceleration and only with boost that it is somewhat competitive. Be prepared to be Tokyo drifting around all of the corners. It is vital to hit your boost timings. I interpreted this as a challenge and after seven years and probably two or three flight model overhauls by CIG later, I decided to hit the old Vandervel New Horizon Speedway once more. Stand by. 
My best lap was 1 minute and about 9 seconds, and according to the XGR Old Vanderville leaderboard, the 350R doesn't feature in the top 18. So for all we know, this was the fastest lap in the history of the world for the 350R. Don't google it or anything, just take my word for it. Afterwards, I discovered that Extreme G Racing has an entire Discord channel dedicated to helping people better learn how to race fast ships in our ludicrous space game. If you have even a passing interest in Star Citizen Racing, you've probably already heard of them, but these guys foster a genuinely awesome community. Do check out their content, links in the description. After my stint on the old Van der Waal racetrack, it's obvious to anyone with eyes that I'm not cut out for conventional racing, so I decided to equip my 350R with the military grade components, not that it would help me in any way, and accept a critical threat level combat assistance beacon. Somebody help! These outlaws came out of nowhere and opened fire! But as this is the best damn Star Citizen ship review show, it would be irresponsible of me to not actually review the ship, so what better time than now? Like you, I've watched enough Morphologist Architect review videos to pretentiously critique fake internet spaceship JPEGs and, in my unprofessional opinion, the decadent curves and sleek lines of this craft's shape language are evocatively reminiscent of the brutal beauty of a fierce cetacean figure, cutting through the inky depths of space with the raw force of its hammer propulsion HM4.3 thrusters. Please, I'm under attack! Origin Jumpwork fanboys would be pleased with this feat of astro engineering that culminates into a blisteringly fast package geared towards offsetting a lifetime's worth of emotional insecurities. Please, somebody help! The underside of the craft contains a cargo lift that can fit up to 4 SCU, or to use more meaningful metrics, 32 boxes of Grade A Jamtonian maze. If you consider yourself a Jason Statham and want to do some transporting, you could fit about 12 human bodies in the hold, while closed with room to spare. I'm under attack! Please! Oh f I have managed to trap myself. I guess this is my life now. Never mind, thank Christ Roberts. Just don't try to load the ship up with a Grey Cat PTV like I did. Three size 3 hardpoints and two size 2 missile racks give the 350R a semi-reasonable amount of firepower, but don't expect it to outperform any of the dedicated fighters in a toe-to-toe -to -toe dogfight unless your goal is to insult them and then speed away at over 1300 meters per second in a straight line. Somebody help, please! Origin Jumpworks are known for producing ships that epitomize luxury, so naturally we enter the 350R with a ladder. Making our way inside, we have an epic gamer chair as well as a fire extinguisher to presumably put out the fires from all the hot sex you will get in this ship. There's a bed for all the hot sex, and a toilet that comes in a tactical dark grey colour to better hide the mess from when your aim is not on point after all the hot sex. Now it's time to assist the nagging wayfarer who kept interrupting my ship review because he got himself into a bit of a pinch with some dangerous Ninetail space gang members. Where else but on the Voidivid's best damn Star Citizen ship review show can you get relevant burning questions answered such as how does the 350R deal with a fleet of enemy vessels containing no less than two hammerheads, multiple fighters, a wing of Valkyries and a goddamn mother Idris frigate? The answer may shock you, but in short, not very well. But mostly because I was trying to get cool footage of the dormant Idris that then woke up and turned me into space paste. Now it's time to escalate things even more drastically as we intentionally become a wanted criminal and put the 350R through its paces in a real world Star Citizen scenario that sadly occurs all too often to innocent players all around the verse. Oh no, I've accidentally gone and attacked this Crusader Securities Avenger Titan and now I have a level 3 crime stat. To make things more interesting, I announced in global chat that I have a bounty on my head and will transfer 500,000 AUEC to whoever manages to get the killing blow before I eventually head to security post Caria to clear the crime stat. I stole this idea from someone on Reddit who did something similar, but they offered 5 million credits instead of just 500,000. What can I say? I'm a bit of a stingy f but thanks for the content idea. During the fight at the station, my ship got badly damaged and for the life of me, I cannot engage 
engage my quantum drive again to get to Schubin Mining Facility SD1 to get repaired. It's alright though because the Mercedes-Benz Lesnick is a pretty fast ship and we'll get there at cruise speed in no time at all. A while later and we pass a Redeemer being piloted by a player named Space Decoy who is undoubtedly after the 500,000 prize money for my head. The last time I picked him up on the Lesnik's radar, he was about 15 kilometers away, so I hastily land and request repairs from the pad. I'm so glad Shubin Interstellar do not discriminate against murderers when it comes to providing their services. Just then, Space Decoy appears in his Redeemer and is closing in fast. I clench tightly as I wait for the repairs to complete and somehow we make it. We spar for a bit and as it turns out, I'm no Tom Cruise, so I decided to head to security post Caria to clear my crime stat and rob the players of this potential 500,000 AUEC bounty. A player named Oslo Poslo arrives in an arrow and in a move befitting a tactical genius, I use the station as cover. This doesn't work as well as I had hoped and we begin the beautiful dogfighting dance that I barely understand due to lacking critical knowledge of how dogfighting actually works, but ignorance is bliss and the flight model is going to change again in the future anyway. We enter a missile exchange trade and I notice Space Decoy is back in his redeemer, effectively reducing my chances of coming out on top of this situation to less than zero. I notice another Aegis Arrow has joined the fight, and as I approach the station way too fast, I decide it's time for a tactical ejaculation. Farewell Mercedes-Benz Lesnick, you were an awesome community manager and an incredibly fast ship. Turns out I'm a terrible judge of distance and have a f long way to spacewalk to get to the relative safety of Caria Station. As we make our approach in the cold void of space and the NPC RSI Mantis suicides into the structure of the security post, I'll take the downtime to ask you to like and subscribe, because this is obviously such good content. It's incredibly presumptuous of me to make sure my weapons are locked and loaded, as if we'd actually make it aboard SPK, because moments later, Oslo Poslo finally discovers us and doesn't care for a fair fight. I guess 500,000 credits is 500,000 credits. I fire back in an act of meaningless protest and convince myself I might be able to survive by doing some awesome spinny rolls. In a last ditch effort, I try to stay alive with a med gun, but let's be honest, who am I kidding? Thank you to all my Patreons for all your support. Your incredible generosity continues to blow me away. If you enjoy my content and are interested in supporting the channel beyond a like and a subscribe, check out the links in the description. It genuinely helps me to continue producing these videos. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you around the verse. Cheers. Thank you.